Come on. Up, up, up. Nice. Welcome back guys, it is Sunday, October 18th and we are going to throw down on a monster match today but before we do so, um, a couple people have asked us about our mobility session and warm up so today's going to be a prime time to do that being that we're going to throw down on probably a good 45 minutes straight of working out If not longer If not longer yeah. Ryan's already doing some flossing on his knee Flossing my old man knees and uh I'll probably jump on a bike. Jay's on the bike right now, so I'll probably jump on that after she gets off. And then basically just run through um, ground up. I start at my legs usually. Uh, ankles, calves, uh, knees, make sure they're all warm. And then um, get my hips and my butt working. And then I'll do a quick one on my shoulders, do some type of maybe crossover symmetry, uh, some band pull apart, stuff like that and then grab a barbell and start going through the motions. Um, we have a lot of barbell movements today. We're deadlifting, we're snatching, we're clean and jerking. Uh, so you'll see basically like an overview. It's a big long mash. It's like Isabel, Grace, and then like a remember workout hero workout kind of deal. So uh, we'll get some footage of me and Zach warming up a little bit and then some clips of the workout. And uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Anyway guys, here's what we're doing. So first one starts out with Grace and Isabel. We're doing it a little bit lighter at 115. We're gonna do, well you can read it I guess. Four minutes rest. We'll do 2,001 meters row, 911 rope climb deadlift, six, seven, three, three. We'll rest another four minutes and then we'll go into follow the leader Cindy. So I'll do a round of Cindy, Zach will do a round of Cindy and we'll switch off for 20 minutes. What did you think of our workout? That's probably one of the longest, most brutal things we've done in a long time. What even, you though think? We had, even though we had four minutes of rest. It what do you think, Jay? The workout. The whole thing? Yeah. 
You heard it here first, everybody. It was pretty good. All right, well, we'll answer a question tomorrow, right? Yeah. And we'll put that up, but for now. Later. We out. Nice. What's up guys? Um, it's kind of later in the week actually. Um, I have to post this tomorrow. This is Ely. This is Lisa Ely. She's one of our competitors here. Um, she is a PA downtown at Spectrum and I think it would be kind of cool to get uh, like a doctor's point of view on CrossFit. Um, so we need three answers from you okay. and we're going to ask the only, I'm just going to ask one question just to keep it short. Um, this is a shorter video anyway. So um, the question is for somebody new to CrossFit, how do I want to do this? For somebody new to CrossFit, what are three recommendations from a medical stance that you would give new athletes? Hmm, from a medical stance. So, I mean, the biggest thing is making sure... And she didn't know I was going to ask for this. This is like top of the dome. <laughs> so, making sure that you have no significant medical issues. Um, obviously, younger athletes, if you're starting, probably... Um, like 40 and under, you probably have nothing to worry about. If you're coming from more of a sedentary background, it's just always eating into every workout. You want to take everything in moderation. I know sometimes you'll come into a gym where there's people who've been there for, you know, three or four years, and you see them doing multiple workouts in a, in a gym session. But, you know, when you're starting off slow, just doing that little bit of workout, you'll still get the same effects for your body. Mm -hmm. um, if you're older, you know, again, making sure, you know, you you don't have a history of heart attacks, um, something that would put you at a little more increased risk during the advanced cardio sessions. Um, but again, it's the same thing that goes for the newer younger athletes. You're going to start off slow. Yeah, ease into it. You're going to modify your workouts and you're going to slowly build kind of the stepping stones so you can get into the more intense workouts. Mm -hmm. And one more. This is, we just need a third answer. A third answer. Like, do you, okay, how about this? This is this is good. Do you think CrossFit is dangerous? No. I think CrossFit is just like any other sport you play. Um, if you're 32, coming off the couch, and all of a sudden playing pickup basketball, you know, if you go from zero to 60, with not those building blocks of endurance, um, you're just at as an increased risk as if you do CrossFit with any, like any other sport out there. Yeah, so like you said, even younger or old athlete, older athletes, taking it slow, letting your body kind of adjust to the different types of movements. I think CrossFit is for everybody. I mean, you see those posts where you're having 90 year olds doing yeah. CrossFit. Yeah, I mean, workouts. Big Mark, he just turned 60 today. Big Mark Happy birthday 60. to Big Mark so. if he knows how to work a computer. <laughs> um, cool. Well, if you guys have any questions, uh, answer, or ask those. Um, we're going to have shirts coming. So let us know if you want a shirt, Zach or I, and we will see you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya.